neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Are you on this list? Are you on this list that I just, just cited to you from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 and 10? Because the Bible says the unrighteous will not inherit God's kingdom. Do you not know to whom you submit yourself, slaves to obey? You're that one slave to whom you obey whether of sin leading to death or of obedience leading to righteousness. The Bible says that God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he also reap. The Bible says in, God, in, in 1 John chapter 3, verses 7 to 8, Little children, let no one deceive you. Whoever practices righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was yeah. manifested, oh, oh. that he might destroy the work of the devil. Therefore, unto God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Raise your hands, you sinners, and purify your heart, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be quick to morning, and your cries to move. Humble yourselves in the sight of God, and he will lift you up. Sedona, this day you must repent. You must accept your Savior before it's too late, city of Sedona. You won't call 911? This city won't last forever. One day this city will be destroyed. The whole world will be destroyed. And it won't last forever because there will be a new earth. All those who complain, go ahead and complain. You won't be complaining when you stand before God on the day of judgment. Don't be surprised if God tells you, I never knew you, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. Those are the scariest words you will ever hear. Many may say or claim that it's about yelling when it's not. We're proclaiming what we're supposed to proclaim. And that's the gospel of Christ. Telling you that God loves you, that God wants to forgive you, that God wants you to repent and confess. Simple as that. Nothing too complicated. That's why there's the simplicity of the gospel. The Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned but he who does not believe is condemned already. Because he does not believe in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that the light is coming to the world 
But men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone who practices evil hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light that his deeds may be clearly seen that they have been done in God. And this is the Word of God. The Word of God is living and powerful. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. It pierces even to the division of soul and spirit and joints and marrow. And is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. There's not one creature that's hidden from his sight.